This conference will now be recorded. So in today's session, I'll explain details of SAP PPM uh, S4 HANA certification. The area which you need to concentrate and the number of questions and the way how we used to get the questions, I'll explain it. And then we'll discuss the demand planning and SAP PPM item. Okay, so in previous session, we have seen how we can plan the financial values, uh, uh, plan cost, plan budget, okay? And we we saw the concept of transferring the values from PPM item to PS project. And uh, we need to execute some background uh, programs, which we have already discussed. And uh, there is one more scenario, which we need, we need, need to discuss in, in upcoming sessions, not now like when once we'll reach to the ppm project when we will transfer ppm project into ps and then how we can transfer the cost from ps project to ppm project and ps project to item okay that is the actual cost how you can transfer so that concept we'll see once we'll go to the execution phase exactly this is our uh, planning phase now okay then we'll see here in in today in today's session transfer demand to ppm project so how we can plan the demand, the capacities in item that may be your proposal or once you are realizing it for your project, then you can you can do that. And then finally, we'll understand here version in SAP PPM versions. So we are having two types of versions in SAP PPM. First is your snapshot version and other is a what if. Okay, so what if is basically is a, is a, is a kind of simulation version. So I'll explain it in detail today. So first of all, let us discuss the details of SAP PPM certification. Okay, and uh, here our main focus is to uh, going forward for this this certification. C underscore S four PPM one nine zero nine SAP certification, certified application associate for SAP S four HANA portfolio and project management. Okay, we can see all the details of this certification here on this link, which is given here. I will uh, I will share this link also. And here I have included in this slide to just explain the area which we need to concentrate more. Okay. So here the first area is a project definition. Okay, project definition, we are getting it more than 12%. So it is a it is a major area which we need to focus. That is your project management project. Okay, portfolio project management. So we used to call it as a PPM project also. So all the functionality of project definition, the project structure, we need to understand in this part. And then financial and capacity planning, it's uh, more than 12%. So this is very important area. And for interview perspectives also, and the real time business requirement perspective also, this is very critical and very important area, financial and capacity, capacity planning, okay? Then next is the integration and shared component. So integration, how you can transfer the cost from PPM item to PS project, how you can get actual cost from PS project to PPM item, how you can transfer the cost and project from PPM project to PS, and how you can transfer it to internal order, and then how you can get your actual cost back to your PPM. Okay, that is very important. You will get at least eight to 10 questions from the same area. Okay, then project resource planning, it's a part of, uh, project management where we will understand the way of doing the staffing in project. Uh, so in SAP portfolio project management, we are having three different way of doing the staffing. First is a like uh, staffing by the lead, second by staffing by the resource manager, and third is staffing by responsible organization. We used to call it as extended staffing also. Okay, so we'll understand it. So it is coming almost eight to 12%. And project and resource planning, that is also. So this is integrated, like how we are assigning uh, the resources from uh, as a responsible person and initiative and uh, how we are doing the staffing in the PPM project. That is a combined part, project and resource planning, project and resource planning. Then resource management, it is a, how we can integrate uh, our PPM system with the SCM system, concept of business partner, how we can replicate business partner to PPM project, all these things will be considered here and then questions scoring and analytics so we are having a two uh, tools to know the success factor okay or to evaluate our requirement based on the questionnaires and scoring model 
okay so that will also be around 8 to 12 percent and including that analytics that is your bi analytics so i'll cover this portion in my uh, upcoming sessions like uh, today we are finishing the capacity and uh, capacity planning then we'll move to the questionnaires and scoring and then finally we'll go to the analytics so here we will get around we will get exactly 80 questions okay and uh, 80 questions we need to finish it in three hours and uh, every questions will have four options and uh, you may have more than four options also if more than one uh, answers are correct one more than one options are correct so let's say in some of questions it will be already written how many questions how many options are correct in these questions okay so for example let's say if they are asking uh, all these are the project structure element project definition p's then uh, task then they are saying item and then initiative so here in this question in these these are the three options are correct project definition phase and task so we need to select all these three answers okay so for more information you just go for this link and uh, for registration i'll just give you some details on registration also earlier it was very difficult to go for any sap certification because in india it was uh, like a, a, as per the certification requirement uh, the trainee the, the the applicant has to join any any training uh, through any authorized sap training partner okay that was the mandatory or uh, the the applicant should have more than one year experience and it it has to be written it has to be mentioned in the letter provided by that company okay and then only we were getting a chance to go for the exam but in india it is a straightforward now you can directly uh, register for the test without going for any training any authorized partner training like how we are going we are not authorized sap we are not sap authorized training partner but by just going for any training and just you can directly register okay without considering any training for that so when you are going for registration in india it is direct and it is very cheap also comparison to previously earlier the training fees around it was uh, 4.5 lakhs okay and uh, and uh, then 27000 was separately uh, need to pay for exam but now it is reduced it is around 22000 or 23000 directly you can register for the exam okay and if you are going for any global certification uh, plan uh, it is having six attempt and you can go for six individual uh, certifications also that is also given so it's very easy now not like earlier and you can you can write your exam from your home online there is no need to visit any center or anything okay so the questions and everything uh the, the the how the questions used to come in the exam i'll i'll present in the assignments i'll give you in the test okay so just go through of it if you are going for all these questions definitely it's a, it's a 60 70 percent chance that you can directly qualify the exam so any questions here in this area So just one question, Sharma. Yeah. So like, um, is there any mock test that we can practice before going to the main exam? Because um, we I'll only have. You. I'll give you the mock test. Yeah. 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 So I'll keep it in the end of August. Once till then, almost eighty percent or seventy to eighty percent uh, contents will cover. Okay. Okay. Okay okay yeah uh, okay. also is there there are any websites that offer any mock test something like that uh no i can i i don't see any any website like that like pp pmp and other certification exam we don't have any yeah we don't have any okay okay, okay. so now coming back to the continuation of uh, the same subject capacity planning and portfolio management okay so when we are doing the financial planning okay it is possible on bucket it is possible on initiative and it is possible on item also okay so you can do here you can do here on the portfolio initiative and the item similarly capacity planning also you can plan the values 
of required resources your demand at bucket level at initiative level at item level also but your demand whatever you want to transfer to your ppm project it will be considered from item only because my project ppm project is going to integrate with item only okay so what is the approach here let's say when you have created any proposal and your proposal is approved then now you are in the phase of item planning so in phase of item planning you have plan your financial values and you can plan capacity value same time the way of planning is the similar how we are having in the financial planning we need to define our categories okay we need to define the categories then we need to define the groups and then we need to define the views okay so last level views whatever the views you have defined to transfer into your project that total demand will be transferred to project and it is a one time activity you cannot transfer this demand again and again why it is given because an item once your demand is finalized okay then only you need to transfer it to project management project and in ppm project you can elaborate it if you want additional demand you can add directly into the project okay that is also possible your updated demand you can see back to your item once your once your capacities are going to confirm then you will get this capacity back to your project management and then finally it will come back to item understand here let's say if you uh, have a project uh, ppm implementation let's say this project name is ppm implementation okay you need some resources you need a project manager you need functional consultant you need technical consultant you need integration manager so the 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 responsibilities like project manager function consultant technical consultant these all are my roles with respective to that you can define the required capacity required demand for example let's say if your project is for 6 month then you need a project manager for entire period of 6 month you need a function consultant only for 4 month once your project plan is completed the kick off is happened everything like initial plan is submitted approved and then only when you are deploying the resources then only you need a function consultant and then you need a technical consultant only for 3 months so what you can do according to your requirement period wise you can define your demand okay and once your project your approve your your proposal is approved or your project is finalized detail planning is done then you can transfer this demand to your integrated ppm project okay here we are not talking with ps project capacity where you need to focus on the capacity the demand the resources staffing and all you need to go with the ppm project integration okay 